the woman took off her coat, the scars on her arms made the two men freeze in place for a moment. Young's eyes were mixed with shock and a hint of pity. Young had a lot of questions before he met Dong Yoon, but now he only wants to ask one question. But Dong Yoon thought it was pointless to talk about such things at this moment. She also did not hesitate to tell Young her final purpose. She will make his wife, In Jin, lose everything and become separated from everyone. However, Young's response was, I don't know the purpose of Young's words at this time. Is it trying to use Dong Yoon's desire for revenge to create a chance to meet her again? Or is he an egoist? who doesn't want to damage the image of a perfect marriage, thus threatening his own interests. That's the end of their meeting for today. However, Young got a message from Ayan when he returned to the office from his secretary. Young was furious when he heard this. His wife not only betrayed him, her cheating was even discovered and threatened by others. Young went back to the check room in a rage. That's when he noticed that the cupboard was full of blue bags. The blue bags on top of his head came from the Jun's clothing store. Yoon Jin's wealthy husband gradually feels broken. The next morning, he went to the clothing store alone. He took a dress and went into the fitting room. When he looked at the layout, he suddenly remembered what Yoon Jin had said. <laughs> Young ripped apart his wife's disguise layer by layer, but found himself ridiculous. He didn't talk to Yoon Jin for a few days after that. That day Yoon Jin finally saw her husband at home. Yoon Jin asked him why he didn't answer the message. <laughs> She learned that her husband had played go with Moon Don Yoon, so Yin Jin first came to blame and reprimand him. But Young said frankly, he was curious about Don Yoon from the first time he saw her. After Don Yoon disappeared for a while, he started waiting for her to appear. When he saw Don Yoon again, he wanted to win her game of go. However, Don Yoon took the lead and he didn't know what to do. But even so, he enjoys the feeling very much. <laughs> Yin Jin, who was angry, went to Yo Jung's plastic surgery clinic right away. She was going to have some feelers put in her face to maintain her perfect image, lying on the operating table under general anesthesia. She had no idea that she was about to go to hell. The woman went crazy and took off her fine suit. Only a bottom petticoat was left on. She was checking her entire body for blood stains because she just killed her high school classmate with a bottle in the fitting room. It turns out that Mayan's last blackmail call was made to Yin Jin. Mayan asked Yin Jin to the fitting room. The grumpy Yin Jin was only going to put up with him for a minute. Mayan was secretly recording on his phone. He talked about Yong Jin's betrayal of his family step by step, but his words are unexpectedly interrupted by a phone call. And Yin Jin realizes that his recording so she poured a bottle of wine directly on the phone. However, Mayan said the name of the girl who died in high school at the moment. He said he knew everything that happened at that time, and he had proof that Yin Jin had been with that girl. The evidence was in his pocket right now. Yong Jin's face finally showed a hint of fear. She reached her hand into Myung Woo's pocket, but she finds herself being teased. Mayan also fell to the ground and laughed wildly. He didn't think that this would really make Yin Jin look bad. Yong Jin's reaction showed that she was really at the scene of the murder. This made it very easy for him to blackmail her. He demanded 1 billion won from Yin Jin. Then he planned to disgust her again. If Yin Jin chose to pay the debt with her body, then every time they have sex, Yin Jin could pay him 10 million won less. Mayan's provocations and insults were too much for Yin Jin to bear. She picked up the bottle on the table and hit him directly. Mayan, who was bleeding profusely, struggled to stand up. And Yin Jin, who was already mad, continued to hit him again. But Mayan was more resilient. He struggled to get up and with his last strength, he scratched the back of Yun Jin's foot. After that, he fell to the ground and didn't move anymore. Yin Jin immediately wiped the fingerprints off the bottle with a tissue. She took off her blood-stained dress. Then she immediately found the police officers to deal with the matter. The cops sent someone to clean up the crime scene. He threw Mayan's cell phone into the river. Finally, 
his Sanayan's body to a funeral home that had been closed for a long time, so as to clean up the DNA tissue left on Mayan's body. The police said they had to bury Mayan on a rainy day. This will ensure that the evidence is contaminated. However, this step became the key to the final plot reversal. Yin Jin suddenly woke up from his dream at this moment. <laughs> At this moment, Yin Jin is in an emotional state. She can no longer distinguish between memory and reality. She didn't even know if she had told the truth while she was unconscious. She could only escape from the room in a panic. Yi Yun, on the other hand, looked like he had one. Dong Yun also helped and his daughter find a school and a host family to study abroad. However, Anna was being watched by Yin Jin all this time. On this day, her daughter was about to leave for her studies abroad. Anna wanted to go to the airport to see her daughter one. Last time, instead, she was blocked by Yin Jin at her doorstep. Yin Jin had contacted the school. She learned that Anna's daughter was leaving the country. Yin Jin said that he knew someone at the airport. So if Anna didn't behave, her daughter wouldn't be able to get on the plane. Anna immediately got down on her knees and begged for mercy. She said she would do her best to work for Yin Jin. So Yin Jin asked her first question. She wanted to know if Don Yun had any other helpers with him. Anna said she would go and find out the details right away. Soon Anna contacted Yin Jin. Anna said Ju Yu Jung's name. Yin Jin then remembered the face she had seen before. And when she learned that Yu Yun was the only son of the director of Ju Hospital in Seoul, she was even more devastated and frantic. Because that's the hospital where the body of the girl she killed in high school was kept. This kindergarten teacher is too perverted. He told the girls to climb to the high side of the railing. He started crouching down to take pictures. Dong Yun saw his perverted intentions. She immediately tells the children to go back to class. When Mushroom Head's plan was ruined, he started to make Dong Yun's work difficult. Dong Yun chose to solve the problem in the quickest way possible. She sent the photos to the parents of the children. A doting father Jun saw it and immediately rushed into that school office. He found the mushroom head who had taken the photos. He grabbed the camera and smashed it into the mushroom head. Then he took out the SD card from the camera. Then he continued to beat the mushroom head. However, his own daughter saw this brutal scene. Dun Yun immediately stopped Yi Sol behind her. After that, Yi Sol called her father Young in tears. She told him that Uncle Jun had beaten someone at the kindergarten today. It was very scary by now. Jun had been called to the police station. The police persuaded him to sign a settlement agreement. Because it's one thing for Mushroom Head to take pictures, it's another thing for him to hit someone. <laughs> At that moment, Young also came with his company's lawyer to save Jun. At the same time, he also said that he would handle the prosecution for the secret photo shoot. But this made Jun very unhappy. Jun directly said that he is the real father of his soul. The two male models just started acting in front of the police station in an action movie. But their fight is obviously young is better. He easily pinned Jun down. Young finally warned Jun not to interface in this matter because his soul will only be his daughter forever. Yin Jin wanted to ask her husband what happened the next day when she saw the bruises on the corner of his mouth. But Young didn't want to say a word to her. Yin Jin thought that her husband was still upset about her school violence. She said she was fed up with the cold violence. They might as well have a good fight. But the moment Young opened his mouth, she said something she couldn't bear. <laughs> What Young hated most from the beginning was that Yin Jin never cared about his daughter since the incident. Yin Jin was only worried about her own safety, but Yin Jin said she chose to hide all this to protect the family. Yun, who insisted on exposing these things, was the key to destroying the family. Young only thinks that Yin Jin is hopeless. He finally warned her. <laughs> 